Let's talk now, though, about the big boxing you can see live on Sky this weekend. Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk, they've weighed in and they've faced off for the final time ahead of tomorrow night's blockbuster world title showdown at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Joshua was given a great reception when Michael Buffer introduced him onto the stage. And it was Usyk who was the first man onto the scales. 221 and one quarter pounds for the challenger from Ukraine, Joshua. 15 stone, 11 pounds for Usyk. Joshua followed, and the world champion tipped the scales at 17 stone two. And then the two faced off for one final time. A fairly intense stare down, but then smiles from both. As a heavyweight, we get the luxury of not making weight or watching our weight, so it's a natural thing. I feel good. Um, yeah, so it wasn't a plan. I feel good though, that's the main thing, and I'm looking forward to it. Do you get the feeling though this is your optimal fighting weight? It could actually fluctuate or it could go lower due to the fact of styles of opponents, you know. But I feel good at this weight, and we'll see. Maybe if I'm fighting a shorter, stronger guy, I might bulk up a bit because you might have to tuck up and stay on the inside. But I've got a good fighter. He's known for his legs, so we're going to keep up with his footwork, keep up with his hand speed and all that stuff. And I've got to make sure that I'm good for the whole duration of time, how long the fight goes, to make sure that we ensure the victory. So Joshua there mentioning just how his weight fluctuates, and that's certainly been the case. During his win over Alexander Povetkin, he weighed in at 17 stone, 8 pounds. He stayed around the same way, actually, losing just one pound for the first fight against Andy Ruiz Jr. Now, we all know how that one ended with a shock knockout for AJ, his only defeat in his entire career so far. For the rematch, though, he changed things up quite significantly. He shed uh, eight pounds and went down to 16 stone, 13 pounds, and he won back his world titles fairly comfortably, didn't he? Last time out, he went above the 17 stone mark once again. He weighed in at 17 stone, two pounds uh, for that knockout victory over Kubrat Pulev. And as we've just seen, that is exactly where he has remained for this fight. The same weight, 17 stone, two pounds for Saturday night's showdown with Usyk. For me, that's his optimum weight, around the 17 stone mark. He was just over there, and um, I've seen him perform against Pulev and Povetkin around about that weight, and Joseph Parker. You know, that sort of weight for him is a good weight, and I'm confident that at that weight he can do what he needs to do. But Usyk, he's gone heavier. You know, he needed to be heavier, but he's not gone too heavy. Because if you go too heavy, you become sluggish. His fast feet and his fast hands are no longer fast. So, you know, if he came in too heavy, I'd have been concerned for Team Usyk, but I'm not. I'm quite happy that Camp Usyk know exactly what they're doing, which you would expect. So this this is like everything's aligned, all the stars are aligned for an amazing fight that could go either way. Well, this is quite the sight, isn't it? The pitch at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium being covered, making way for the boxing arena. Matthew Macklin says the tactical battle between these two great fighters is going to be fascinating. You come out and take the chance of, you know, allowing Usyk time and movement, let him get his rounds under the belt, in the bag, get ahead on the cards, then you're chasing the fight. So, or as you gamble and jump on him in the first round, and, but then you risk the chance of maybe exerting so much energy early on that, you, you know, you run out of steam in a 12-round fight. So it's like, it's a fine balance, isn't it? I think you, you can always, it's a lot easier to put your foot on the gas than it is to take it off once you've already put it on. So, you know, you, if he jumps on him from the first bout, it's hard then to kind of slow down and ease back the pace because you kind of set the tone then for the fight. I do expect Joshua early on not to be gung-ho, but, but I think before long he's going to start putting it on him.